What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create this sick box CRT tracking effect. Let's go. What's up guys? My name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick CRT UI box tracking effect. It's like a really cool Terminator, like retro tech looking effect. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can do this in After Effects. But really quickly, before we hop into today's tutorial, I just wanna shout out our new CRT pack that just dropped on 11%.net. This pack is absolutely insane. And today's tutorial, we're actually gonna be using some assets from the CRT pack. It comes with over 30 plus CRT overlays, and it also includes entire fonts and typefaces that you can use to create CRT style text. It's a really dope pack. We created all the graphics ourselves, and you can see it just comes with so many dope CRT CRT assets that you can literally just drag and drop onto your project, change the blending mode, and boom, there you go. You have some dope CRT effects, all entirely curated and hand created by us. They're all available at 11%.net, in which we also, by the way, drop a bunch of other crazy preset packs. We have packs ranging from title card presets all the way to 3D Chrome overlay presets. So they're just absolutely insane. Definitely make sure to check out 11%.net. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys, now that we're inside of After Effects, first thing you need to do is have your clips loaded up right here. I have some concert footage right here and one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my tracker channel right here my tracker panel right here and I'm going to hit track motion now if you don't see this really quick just go to your window hit workspaces and make sure you're on all panels and you should see the tracker panel right here and then just click on track motion now what you're going to see is it's going to pop up with this nice little square icon right here this square icon is basically the point that you're going to be tracking if you're familiar with after effects tracking then you know what to do just go ahead and track a point on your subject that is pretty much visible through Throughout the entire clip. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna really quickly show you guys how you can track in After Effects. What you're basically gonna do is this inner box right here is basically going to be the area that is going to be always present in the frame, and the outer box is the range that that area can move in. So you try to keep your outer box pretty small so After Effects doesn't have to track like a lot of data and it just takes a lot longer. So we're gonna be tracking the CRT box UI effect over DC the Don's face right here. So it's this whole head we're gonna be tracking. So I'm gonna be using this point and be tracking his earring. So I set that box over his earring, and the outer box is the range that that earring will probably move in between frames and you can see already it messed up a lot so <laughs> if that happens to you you can just basically hit command z undo and that means you just have to pick a better tracking point i'm gonna pick something better something close to his head like this chain right here it looks like it did a better job it is still a little bit bumpy but honestly because of the crt ui effect that we're going for is pretty old school and the jittery motion of the box kind of adds to the effect so honestly let's go ahead and go with that so now what you're going to do before you hit any of these options right here, you're going to come to layer, hit new, and you're going to hit no object. And boom, now we have no object. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come back to your tracker panel. You're going to hit edit target. And basically you're going to select the no object that you just created. So my object is called no two. I'm going to hit okay. And boom, now I'm ready to hit apply. So I hit apply and it's going to say apply dimensions X and Y hit okay. And voila. Now you can see all your tracking points are red, the color of your no object. And you can see that your no object right here is now track to your subject. Now, for those of you who don't know what a no object is, it's basically a blank invisible layer that you can use to apply and track data with. It's kind of like a little concept rather than an actual tangible thing that you're gonna be using, but it's really important to know in After Effects. So now that we have this no object written, it's time to go ahead and apply our CRT effects. So to create the CRT UI effects, today I'm gonna be using the new 11% CRT overlays pack. We just dropped it on our store at 11%.net. This pack is absolutely insane, guys. I'm serious. It comes with over 30 plus 4K CRT overlay assets. They're absolutely insane, super easy to use. As you can see right here, we're literally just about to drag and drop. And it also comes with two complete typefaces, all in 4K files, absolutely insane. Probably one of the best CRT packs I've ever seen, just in terms of the quality, the amount of presets it comes with. It comes with a bunch of icons, UI design, typefaces, and fonts. It's just absolutely insane, super easy to use, and it'll really just help speed up the edits on your project. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna drag in CRT icon four. Now this is just basically a square box and you can see right here where it's already in a 4k file and you can see those nice crt lines authentic crt no simulators no after effects like this is some real crt stuff right here so seriously guys please if you have at least two minutes in your day please make sure to check out 11percent.net that is seriously how you keep me going so i can keep making free tutorials like this for you guys but if you are a video editor who's just starting off and i know what it was like to not have any money you can just go ahead and create some of your own crt effects
effects by just using a simple square shape tool. It doesn't even have to be CRT. I'm just going the extra mile to make this effect incredibly authentic. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be scaling this up and just dragging this kind of over to the general area of DC the Don's face. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit toggle switches modes to get my blending mode available. And I'm going to change this blending mode from normal to screen right here and boom there we go now we have this box but if you play it out you can see the box stays in the same area and there's no tracking motion so now it's time to apply this box to all that tracking information that we have in our null object how we're going to do this is we're going to hit toggle switches modes once again so that we make sure we have this icon right here called the parent pick whip tool parent pick whip tool if you don't see it you have to hit the toggle switches modes buttons right here really big important button this used to always trip me out when i first started off and i'm going to take this parent pick whip tool and i'm going to drag from the cr T icon box, by the way, and I'm going to drag it to our null object. And now you can see if we play this out, boom, our box is now tracked DC the Don's face. And you can see it comes with all those nice little jitteries that we just tracked onto his necklace. But honestly, I really think that adds to the effect. And voila, that is our first effect. But because, you know, at 11%, we always take things the extra mile. Let's go ahead and add in some more effects. So I'm going to go and drag back to our pack and drag in one of the other many other UI interface CRT presets that it comes with. I'm going to scale it down and I'm just going to flip it around like that boom there we go now we have this nice little information panel i'm just going to scale this and place this right over here over dc the dawn shoulder and then once again i'm going to hit toggle switches modes and change the blending mode to screen boom and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag that pick whip tool once again from our new crt ui preset and i'm going to drag it once again to the null object and boom there you go now you can see that this information is also tracked to his body as well and you can see it's kind of moving along with his body one thing i would do to even increase more realism is check the motion blur box right here. I know it's a screen, but you know, just the more motion blurred, more authentic the effect looks. And one last thing, just to tie this in all together, I'm gonna be using CRT UI 2 on our preset pack. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to hit transform and fit to comp. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to toggle the switch modes and change this also to screen and voila. Now we have some nice, just extra CRT UI just to add to the effect. And voila, there we go. There you have it. Some nice CRT box tracking effect right there. Absolutely insane. As you can see, it was super easy for us to recreate. All you had to do is add some motion tracking and boom, there we go. We have this nice sick effect. And now the cool thing about the CRT pack is that you can actually change the color of the CRTs. So to do this, what you can do is you can just go ahead and search for a lumetri color effect in the effects and presets i'm going to go to my basic color correction and i'm just going to like decrease the tint like a crap ton to like negative 224 and i'm going to copy that and then just basically paste this to the other crt uis and now you can see we have this nice sick like terminator looking green overlay i really recommend you checking out 11percent.net and copying the crt overlay preset pack absolutely insane and if not if it's out of your budget then you can just go on photoshop create some of your own crt ui effects of your own they're really simple and super easy to recreate the crt pack we seriously dumped our heart and soul into it so really mean a lot if you can just go check out our store at 11 percent Net. As you can see, we have another clip from the concert right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add in another rectangle right here. This is this like rectangular tracking one. And we're gonna apply this to our subject right here in the middle. And there's really so much you can do with this. I definitely recommend you just playing around with it, having fun. Don't copy this tutorial down to the exact nitty gritty details. But without further ado, here are the final results. You guys made it to the end of the video. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. Really, if you found any of this video helpful, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so really it means the world to me. And once again, if you're interested in copying the CRT preset pack, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. There we seriously spill all the sauce on how to create some dope visual effects for your music videos. And best yet, we have some of the best prices in the entire market. All of our preset packs are super easy to use and they come with an instant download the moment of purchase. Definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net for looking to enhance your music videos and save yourself some time. It's seriously one of the best investments any video editor can ever make. And also, if you guys would be interested in joining our Patreon, where you can receive exclusive benefits and discounts at our store, as well as some exclusive content and tutorials solely for you guys, the link is below in the description, or you can hit the join button at our channel. Really, this is how you guys support me and keep me going so I can keep making free tutorials like this for you guys. And hey, you might as well join some extra benefits while you're at it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.